In this video, I am going to show you how to create a variable product in WooCommerce. A variable product is a type of product that offers different variations on a product. Each variation has control over prices, images, or even stock. A great example of that is clothing products like t-shirts or hoodies. In this tutorial, we are going to create a product featuring a hoodie with color and size variations. This is the example we are going to create. We have the product title, the price range, short product description, the image gallery. Our custom variations which change the gallery images depending on our selection. Product description below and additional information that includes our product attributes. We do not recommend WooCommerce installed on an unsecured website. This setup is for tutorial purposes only. Now, let's go to the admin dashboard. Go to product, add new. Let's set the product name to earthy hoodie. The next field is our product description. Commonly, this will be displayed below the galley along with the other tabs like reviews. Next, set our product type to a variable product. This will open up the variations. To set our variations, we need to set up our product attributes first. The hoodie size and color. Let's add a custom product attribute. The first one is color and the values would be what colors do we want to add. Let's add cream, green, and beige. Make sure to check used for variations box. Separate the values with a pipe symbol. You can find this above the shift key on your keyboard. Save attributes. Go to the variations and create variations from all attributes. Let's set our product image and gallery first before configuring our variations. Upload our product images. Now that they are loaded, we can set individual variation images, prices and many more. For the cream, we can set the same product image but different prices. Small will be $30. The medium will be $35. The large will be $40. The same goes for the other variations. Let's add our product short description. This appears below the product name.
We can also add a new category. Now we're done. Let's publish the product. Let's view the product. Now we are done creating a variable product with size and color variations. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, if you like this video.